Hey guys, welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video, we'll be looking at five new things that are added to Laravel version 9.44.0. So let's get started. The first thing that has been added is this sort option for the schedule list. Let me show you this one. Here I have three commands and this job and these are continuously running at different intervals of time. Let's say now if I wanted to list all these tasks on the terminal then I can run php artisan schedule list command. Let me show you that. Here if I hit enter then it will show me all the schedule task you can see here all these things but if you see here they are in the order of these things. Whatever I write in the beginning, it will show up here in the first and then it will show all this task over here. But now there is a flag by which you can sort these things. So let me say PSP artisan schedule list dash dash next and hit enter. Then it will actually show me the task that will run first. You can see here it is 47 seconds from now and then it is 4 minutes from now, 4 minutes from now and 44 minutes from now. So it is in the ascending order. Because of this it will be very easy for us to know which tasks will run next. And this feature is contributed by Mose. Now let us move to the second thing which is this add ASCII and ULID validation rule. So let me show you that over here. Let me just zoom it for you guys. Over here. So here I have this validator syntax over here. I have this data, the validation, and then the message whenever something goes wrong. So here I am passing UUID to the ULID and non ASCII character to this data over here. And I am checking it must be ULID and it must be ASCII. This should return some errors because both of them are invalid. So if I run it, then you can see here both are invalid. So it is showing me this error message. But let's say if I pass ULID and ASCII character, a valid ASCII character then it should not show me any errors you can see here it is empty which means that this new you lead and ascii validation rules are added and it is contributed by hafez divandari now there are three more things that are added which are very simple things so let's look at the third thing which is this http client allowed to provide closure as throw if condition if you see this http throw if method here we could only pass true or false but now we can pass a closure over here and we can return either true or false from within the closure the fourth thing that has been added is this support for native rename slash drop column before whenever we wanted to rename or drop a column of a database that we had to install this dr ryan deval package but now with this latest version of laravel we don't need to install it it will by default work and it is supported by these versions you can look at it on the pull request now the fifth and the final thing that has been added is this macroable in session the session facade was not macroable before and now it is macroable if you see here in the files changed use macroable is added over here and now it is macroable and now i would like you to introduce to this video sponsor which is cloudways cloudways is a managed cloud hosting platform which focuses on your business and avoid all the web hosting hassles cloudways will take care of the server setup for you and you can go live in minutes using the cloudways you can select any one of these applications like wordpress laravel php etc and you can host those in any one of these server like DigitalOcean, aws vulture google cloud or linode and also you can scale your server size as you need using the simple and easy user interface you can use the link below to subscribe to Cloudways and if you do so, you will get $15 as a credit and you can use that $15 to set up a base server and it will last you almost a month, which means that you are getting one month free. So thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.